So I made my own wrestling company. No, no, no. Not like WWE or AEW or New Japan Pro Wrestling. Well, I won't say it's not like that. We just don't do it in real time. I don't have real people that work for me as superstars or whatever, right? We do it via electronic, digital, through WWE 2K23. It's called the Fed, and I want to talk about it. Yo, what you know, it's your boy One Hero back on YouTube with a new episode. So let's go. Era of Valor. That is my weekly wrestling project that I do on Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Sundays at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on twitch.tv slash I am one hero. Come by and check us out. Through a series of unfortunate events, I was led to make this wrestling project for my community. We all created our characters that we wanted to have represent us in the community, and we show up every week and watch storylines play out from what the game gives us or what we develop ourselves. So very similar to what you see in wrestling. However, we don't know what's going to happen. Some matches could potentially be recorded for story effect, and then other ones are like, we have no clue what's going to happen. This person was on a 19 win streak. Now all of a sudden, they've lost. But I think the more exhilarating fun about it is that we are doing this like Dungeons and Dragons. We are role playing the actual characters. We're cutting the promos. We're doing the talking. We are voicing the characters and bringing them to life via an extension of us. And that is super dope because I know that for me, I made a character called Smooth Johnson. That was just a character I made for fun for other content. But then I brought them into the WWE universe via my friend Colberg, who makes his own event called Mouth Main Academy Wrestling Federation. And over there, he's been able to do amazing things as this character, but I get to bring him to life. And having a fan base already behind him for the other content that I made was super amazing. But he's like this undefeated champion on this Roman Reigns-esque streak of over 200 something days as champion in a simulated game where you cannot control the outcome. That's a huge accomplishment for me, but that's just also unreal to watch it happen. But yeah, each week we show up and we don't know what's going to happen or the viewers in the community don't know what's going to happen for what I have planned for them each week. And it's one of the most rewarding experiences because one, as a creator, I get to create. Two, as a storyteller, a movie lover, TV show lover, just a lover of a good story, we get to make those. And then three, having people show up each week that want to partake, participate, and go on this grand adventure, it's amazing. We started in August. We're going to finish in March when the new game comes out. Take maybe a month or so off to build up everything again when the new game comes out. And then we're going to come back to do it all over again. For those that come back, it's going to be amazing. We're going to have fun. And we get to relive some of those moments, those old rivalries, those old battles. Relive some of the stories of everything else because it's all being put on YouTube anyway for everybody to check out. But yeah, you have characters that have been standout people. You got like our previous world champion, Tofu. Tofu the rival, he streams as well, but he is a person that really loves his character and is starting to see that it's becoming a brand for him and that he's enjoying showing up each week in and out to showcase that character, even voicing the character and having a great time. And then one of our leading and our super mega heels, if you will, bad guy, King Soul, voiced by a good friend of mine that I've known for the last four years by the name of Kitsuraki. He has been doing an amazing job with portraying this character. One, because he likes playing heels. Two, he has a great voice. But three, he's also been in Dungeons and Dragons and role playing. So he understands the gravity of that, how you can present a character. And he really brings that character to life to where people are in the streams when they see him going, all hell, King Soul. Uh, a good friend of mine by the name of Evan Alpha. He has a great character called the Hitman of EOV. Uh, one of our youngest viewers and community members found me through TikTok when I was posting content about EOV and wanted to be a part of it. And he's watched it with his brother, his family, he's jumping up, cheering, getting in trouble. It's super dope. And then some of my Final Fantasy people have come over and they've made characters and they got their kids involved. I've got one viewer, his mother got involved and made a character. His sister got involved and made a character. And it's just been really, really dope and a really, really great experience. And I mean, even before I made my own EFED, there have been tons of other EFEDs out there all over YouTube, all over Twitch that have been doing the exact same thing, but for far longer than I, and for a lot more years and episodes than I. But I think the one main thing is that we all do share a love of wrestling and entertainment, but also having that ability to re-envision yourself as that wrestler or as that CEO, that GM, and being able to contribute to that. And also seeing the people that didn't really care about wrestling, get invested 
and want to be a part of it or want to be there to watch and experience it week in and week out, that is one of the greatest experiences that you can do as a influencer, if you will. But more or less, if you build it, they will come. And to see people actually come from what you built is dope. For me, like I said, it started with Smooth Johnson and it's now transferred over into EOV. As a person that wrote comic books beforehand, happened to show my story and my thought process and my creativity to the world. This is me getting to relive that through video games and through wrestling and sharing that love and passion of wrestling and gaming and just camaraderie and community with everybody else. Nobody gets shamed for a promo that they make. Nobody gets shamed for their character being too powerful or whatever. Sure, you're going to have people that want to win, but we talk about it all the time. We are story driven first if you do not care about story you want to be the ultra mega roman reigns undefeated and all of that stuff this ain't the place for you and it never will be because i am not going to let people get torn down by somebody that thinks that their ego is bigger than the sun or that they feel like they should win all the time no ever since we've kind of established that from day one everybody that kind of weeded themselves out for the better have made our community that much stronger where people weren't doing like promos and stuff like that they weren't talking and now they do and i think that's really dope that they broke out of that shell and they're coming into their own and there are other people that are using this for the number one thing that i really really think is dope about this whole project right it's a playground for you to create and some people that weren't creators or were on the fence about it are becoming more comfortable with becoming a creator, becoming a streamer, becoming a public speaker, a talker. It's facilitating into better opportunities to grow or just to enjoy as an outlet and an escape. We all work 30 hours, 20 hours, 40 hours, 50 hours, 60 hours a week. And the last thing we want to do is happen to come to the place where you want to escape and deal with more IRL stuff. What's the point of it? So my job was to create an atmosphere like my good friend Libra Supreme has said. A person that would that wasn't really into wrestling like that, but he tuned in and, sh- and, and saw the love that the community was giving. But then when they got their own character, they got the same love back. And everybody's like, wow, this is really, really uplifting to have to be a part of this every week and show up and they want to be there. And everybody's like, yo, that was dope. Yo, what's up? Oh, they're my character right there. I love it. Everybody with their own custom entrance music, everybody with their own custom gear, and everybody is made to feel like a superstar. Yes, you're probably going to lose. Yes, you're probably going to win, but it's not always going to be about you. It's about us. It's about the era of Valor family. But I just wanted to talk about that because I thought that was super dope to be able to showcase that. We, We did... Our first PLE was in August. Our first show was a little bit before that. And now we're coming up to our third PLE, or premium live event. The first one was Rebirth. That was an amazing show from top to bottom. I even had my good friend Colbert come over to co-host it with me to help me out. And it was one of the best experiences I had because I look up to him and to have him wanted to lend a hand to me, especially when he's taking care of my character, Smooth Johnson, as good as he has Despite whatever negativity may come his way or or hate or questions or whatever, he's done a phenomenal job with that. So, Colbert, I salute you. And then moving up to Summer Solstice, which was great, having other people like Quick Stop Hicks and the other people that were involved in their own events help support and uplift me as much as I try to help and uplift them. It's been really dope. And to each and every one of you EOV superstars that are watching this, that cut promos each week, once a week, once a month, Got them in the EOV Twitter on Discord that we all made. Shout out to Outsider for creating that for us. I thank you. I appreciate you. It's one of the best experiences I've had, especially when I was doubting myself and thinking that we couldn't pull this off or that I couldn't do it and I wouldn't be able to build a viewership or build something that people would enjoy. The fact that it took like, like a wildfire to you all and you all show up and want to support however you can for me and then for you and then for everybody else, I couldn't ask for more. And I'm truly, truly grateful for the era of Valor as we have ushered in this new era together. And I hope that we can continue to do it for as long as we can, as long as life will allow us to, you know? We just had our most recent PLE, Grave Consequences. It was amazing. It was dope. It was on the 29th of October. So this past Sunday, go check it out. The vibe will be on the EOV YouTube and it will also be on Twitch as well. YouTube, you get the music and all the experiences and everything else. Which you can kind of watch it with the community and see the chat and everything like that if you weren't there. And then the next one, by this time, is going to be Skybound, our Money in the Bank 
who's going to be the one to claim the treasure? Who's going to climb the ladder and grab the golden case that will lead them to the promised land for a chance to claim gold or title, if you will? But yeah, that's how I made my own wrestling company with my help and with the help of everybody else around me and within the community that support me. I appreciate you all. I thank you all. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like, comment, subscribe. You can join me on the rest of my journeys or you can join us in the era of Valor as well. That link will be in the description for you to follow. We will see it up here on the screen somewhere. Be great. Be you. Plays until next time. Peace. Oh, sugar kick from the Lucius. Fox. Fight back. Yeah. Oh, he missed the spin. Yo, no, not the referee. You cut the ref. Champion. Let the darkness. Uh oh no. Hello? Where'd he come from?